Hello everyone, Niklas Seidloff here from IBM and OpenNTF. Today I'm going to demonstrate the new release of the OpenNTF project XPages Mobile Controls. In the previous release I've shown how you can use the HTML5 offline capabilities and I've provided some simple samples. Now in the release today um, that I posted today, um, you know, you will see how you can use these techniques um, for real data from Nodes database. So let me show you how um, this looks like. Um, when you scroll to the bottom, you can see this link here pointing to a live application on OpenNTF, which again shows the um, block entries from OpenNTF. And I'm using Firefox here today to demonstrate that application, which is obviously not the um, browser that you use on your mobile phones, um, but it allows me to rather, rather easily demonstrate the online offline capabilities. I've also tested that application on um, my iPod Touch and in my um, Android 2.0 simulator. So let me open that link now and you will see that um, Firefox asks me whether I want to store data um, locally. So I allow that and you know all the block entries um, while I'm online here I can open the block entries as usually. Um, this one has a picture in it and you can post new comments at the bottom. Um, and when I switch to offline now right and hit refresh you can still see the data here but only from the last 10 block entries which is because I've hard-coded you know that um, that number 10 in my application at this point um, and but you, you can see in the last um, documents that I've um, um, the last 10 block entries and I can open them here now um, and you know it's the exact same user um, experience with the difference um, that I don't cache the pictures yet. So in this case there's only um, a placeholder in here. Um, and also the other difference is that I don't allow you to um, publish comments at this point um, while offline. But the rest of the application is identical. Again you can see the exact, exact um, same um, user experience and look and feel here. So let me show you a couple of things um, that I had to do to implement that. First of all, in my X page, um, you know, I had to, to use this manifest file, um, which is now possible in Domino X pages 8.5.2, um, starting with code drop 4. And I point to this manifest file that I store here as a file resource. And when I open that, that's the wrong one, this one, um, you will see the, you can see the different JavaScript files and, and style sheets, etc. that I um, cache here plus a couple of other um, you know, URL calls um, that I never want to cache. Um, so I enforce here that you know, this, this, um, you know, these URLs can only be opened online. Um, so that's the first thing that I had to do. And, and as you can see here, um, I only um, you know, embed one dojo file um, plus another um, JavaScript file here. Um, and that is because you know I couldn't use the dojo as it comes out of the box with um, X pages because it loads resources dynamically. And in order to use the offline um, capabilities here, I have to define statically or static list of resources. So what I had to do was to build myself one dojo um, file. And Dojo um, doc, um, comes with this tool that allows you to put all the JavaScript Dojo files in one or several um, other JavaScript files. So that's what, I've, what I had to do here. So I had to build this file and then I imported it um, you know, into my notes database. Plus I also imported the second one which is um, a file called compat for compatible so that I can run this application also in Firefox because it simulates a couple of um, functionality that is missing in non-webkit based browsers. Um, so then, you know, I, I imported my Dojo file, which includes also the um, Dojo um, mobile code from 1.5. Um, and then I had to disable the standard Dojo as it comes out of the box. And you can do that here um, in this um, XPages properties file. Um, and you define um, that you don't want any script libraries um, to be transferred to the um, web browser by default. Um, and also I disabled all other style sheets that I don't use here. Um, so, so these two settings really say, um, you know, only return the bare um, X page and no other style sheets or Dojo files. Um, 
so what else so then the only other thing is that um, you know the the set of controls is identical you still have the controls like m rectangle etc um, m page um, the only thing that I changed here is in the um, document control you can now set also property um, to false allow comments in this case I want to show the comments and I want allow to allow people to um, enter their own comments but when I'm offline I don't want that um, so in this second um, X page here you can see that I've set this um, property to false now this X page is used to store a document offline I cache the whole document as HTML so when you are online the um, web browser asks um, the Domino server to give all the documents all you know as HTML and they are cached as HTML and in this case again I um, don't show the comments um, that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed it bye bye